Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 159. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Trick 155 to 167. Hey, Trick 159, we have a table of data here, and we want to do VLOOKUP, but uh-oh, there are duplicates in the first column, which makes it hard to select from the drop-down and then use VLOOKUP. One way to get around this is to create a new column with a unique uh, item in it. And so we'll do that, and then we'll do uh, drop down data validation in VLOOKUP. Let's say uh, a text formula equals this cell right here, and which is an ampersand, shift 7, which allows us to join things. And then we're going to count if. What are we going to count? The range. I'm going to count one cell to my left, and then I'm going to hit Shift colon, which puts D14 to D14. I'm going to lock, double click the first D14 and hit F4. I'm locking it going down, and that gives me an expandable range. And then I'm going to type comma, and then D14. If I can't get to D14, I'm going to click in D13 and then down arrow. Now, right now, this would be 1, right? Because it's counting how many of those items are in that range right here. But when it gets down to here, the count will be 2. When it gets down here, the count will be 3. So it's a way of adding uh, an incremented number to the end of whatever this text is. Control Enter, and then I'm going to double click and send it down. Now, that's annoying there because it's 11, 12, 13, and I don't want that. I want name 1, name 1, name 1. So I'm going to come back and amend this. I'm going to hit F2 to put it in edit mode. And I'm going to add something else to this concatenation with an ampersand. I'm going to, in quotes, double quote, space, dash, space, double quote, ampersand. So now I've added three things, joined three things together in this text formula. Whatever's in the cell to my left, plus a dash with spaces on either end, and then the count. And I'm going to control enter because notice I have the whole range highlighted. So I can populate this range with control enter. Now I want to do data validate. And there I've created a unique uh, item which I need for my VLOOKUP. And in this cell right here, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for data validation Alt DL. Alt DL. Also under the data menu or ribbon. I'm going to say allow a list. I'm going to click in the source, and then I'm going to highlight this range right here. Click OK. Now I can select from here. I'll select uh, name 1, 3. Now I can just do my VLOOKUP, pretty straightforward, equals, equals VLOOKUP. And the lookup value is going to be this, comma, and the table array is going to be the whole table plus the new uh, extra column here, and I'm going to hit F4. I didn't really need to do that because uh, we don't, we're not copying this formula anyway. The column index for s address we're looking up is 1, 2, 3, so 3. And I'm looking up a, an exact match, so comma, 0, close parentheses, and that's it. And sure enough, name 3 is uh, that 327BLVD. And if I select uh, name 41, I should get name 41, which is 448AV. So that's one way to deal with uh, duplicates in VLOOKUP. Just create a unique identifier by concatenating using the ampersand and count if. All right, see you next trick.